Hi, welcome to Rain's Closet. This is Rain, and tonight I am going to review the Louis Vuitton Speedy 50. It's a, uh, the Keep All 50. Uh, I actually got this uh, purse from Tracy. I ordered it, I think before I left, because I've been in Memphis for like two weeks, so I just got back from vacation. Or well, I really want vacation. I had to go. I went and went home. And I had a real nice time. But I ordered this from the Tracy website, T-R-A-D-E-S. Shit. T-R-A-D-E-S-Y. <laughs> Sorry. I actually paid about, I think I paid like $320 for this. And with tax, it was like around $350. But it's the speed 50 So I haven't even unpacked it yet. So it was in real good condition i was actually trying to do a video before i left but i was so freaking exhausted from packing but this is not the um the bandolier um but you know everything is like in real good condition and it got it has the tag uh like the little key tag or whatever then it has this um and i have it loaded now this is, and I had this in a different video, my 40. I did have the handles. I had tied the handles up with my bandos, uh, but I just took them off. So this is like the side by side. Let me back up some comparison with them. So let me try to move this stuff, move this camera over a little bit make sure i don't have things too junky in the background but this is it this is my 50 and this is my 40. and i had my handles like one of my handles broke so i had to read on so i did a whole video uh with that so let me sit back down um i'm just too lazy to get my try to get my hair done Get me some braids. I was tired of fooling with them wigs. I bought me a wig when I was there. And um, so I got my size and stuff shade. And then I can, I did something else to it earlier. And it was kind of looking, they like crocheted in. And I was tired of them damn wigs. Them wigs was driving me insane. Um, I had one, I bought one. And they still don't want you to, to, um, Try them on. Uh, so, you know, you got to kind of get it how you live. You know, you got to look at it. You got to eyeball it to see if it's going to be good. And it wasn't a lace front. So, I put it on like the part. And it was brown. It wasn't black. It was off. It was really off. I ain't got too much blush on. Like, you know, clown. This dark blush on me. But the part was like, okay, I was trying to make it match. And I took a picture with this guy, and I don't even want to post it because the wig look, look, look too bad. I said, you know what? Let me go get me some braids. I'm about tired of this. I'm tired of adjusting this shift. You'll be seeing me on them videos. So anyway, with this 50, and this is my Brahmin bag. I always travel with my Brahmin um, Duffel bag. My Brahmin bag is nice. It's in my go-to bag. But I still want to have both of these. Oh, I got the keys to it. So that's cool. But one thing I did this time when I packed, if you ever order stuff from like Fashion Nova and Sheen, they send you stuff in bags. So I was like, let me start packing like that. That was the best thing ever. So I would take a whole outfit and put it in one of these bags. That way I know I have a complete outfit. And so I was just like snatching outfits out each day. I'm like, man, this is so convenient. I've been traveling all these. I never thought to do that. So, um, that was like crazy. Uh, and every day I was like, I can ensure that I have a complete outfit. Because sometimes I'm rushing and I'll be out of town looking stupid. I have on um, like jeans and freaking heels all the time uh because i'll forget to pack some and i only own two pairs of sneakers i don't buy sneakers uh i only have and they were given to me and i think i've had them for like 
four or five or uh, four or five years. Okay, there was a baby coming in here. All right, so you like my earrings? I got these from Shein. I got this from Shein. This is like one that because I went Shein crazy. So I have a lot of Shein jewelry, so I'll do a uh, video on that. Oh, uh, and this is the inside. Inside is in good. Oh, got a little jungle. Um, inside in real good condition. There aren't any stains. Uh, it has the uh, tag on the end. Uh, now I did watch one video and they were saying not to like pull these tabs because so many of them are damaged. I was going to get the 60. The 60 was the largest one, but they say on the airplane, I think the 55 is the largest that you can check in. So I said, let me go ahead and get that. Plus some of the ones that they had, Tracy has some real good prices on these. Some of them, like maybe the handles were broken or the tab was like this. So that's why I went ahead and went with this. Uh, now a 60. I really thought it would be a tad bit bigger because this is a, the Brahmin Duxbury. Uh, I think it's a Duxbury Weekender. And they pretty much almost like neck and neck. Almost. So, I thought it was going to be large. Like some, what did I just do? It's like some grease or something is on it. What did I just do? Why do I got grease on So, this is it. Uh, I, I like it. I, I'm satisfied with it for 300 and some dollars because that bag is normally about like 14, 14, 15 hundred dollars in the little something. So, but check out Tracy. They're about to merge with Vestier Collective. I think that's how you pronounce it. But they're about to merge with them. So, definitely get that. It's a, a great bag. Oh, and another thing I got. I bought this bandeau. But look at my uh my little jumpsuit. I'm losing some weight, honey. These gallstones. The gallstones tan me. Oh, is this the one? This I'm in this this group with this girl. Like she shops a lot. And she what I think she does, I think she goes to like the outlets and buy stuff. And then she sell them. Oh. Ooh, child. Nah. I don't do that nose candy. My nose feel like it's running. But, um, because I'm always, when I see my videos, I'm so close to the camera and it's all, like, all up in my nose. So, I ain't on that booby sugar. But, she, um, she sells, uh, she sells, like, some of her own stuff at times. So, she had this bandeau. And it was another one I actually wanted. She had the Gucci, the rainbow one. And I wanted that. And somebody snatched it up. So she sold this one. Uh, I have to put the link below for whichever one this is. She had the other uh, one. And I just in cash out for one time somebody else got it. But she sold this for like $125. And, I, and she sent, you know, the box and all that. Her stuff be like legit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like she a real... She the real deal. But I guess she just be buying stuff, you know, have it for a minute, get tired of it, sell it. So, what I did was, because I really said I won't buy any more bandos, but I think this would be cute. It's not like an exact match, and I don't even like carry this bag. So, um, I thought this would be cute. I end up tying it. I don't know how I would tie it around my head, because I got some black dye in my hair. So, um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I haven't found a way to make it work with this yet. So, it may have to kind of go around my neck a little bit. Now, come on, I can't be struggling. I don't even have that much hair. But I like this. I like to be going to the side and stuff. But, uh, you know what? Hey. I got on my dog stuff. I got on this uh, Mac 
this uh, matte lipstick. So this is uh this is cute. And I got this jumpsuit from Fashion Nova like some years ago. Okay, all right, girl. All right, this is what we doing. Oh shit, I'm gonna choke myself. Hold on. Um. All right, this. Is... We got a one. We got a style. Okay, so I have that. Let me put on these Ray Ban. I, I like when it get dark outside. Girl, shut your mouth. These are uh, some Raven wings, wings to some uh, aviators. Okay, so this is it. So yeah, I got my bandeau and I got the Louis Vuitton Speedy uh, 55. So uh, I think that's about it. Oh, I ordered some Steve Madden boots, uh, the rhinestone boots. I said I wasn't buying anything else. Uh, what is it I buy? I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that's it. And I think I'm actually good for the rest of the year. I don't think I'm, my budget is for uh, is um, Fashion Nova and, and Shein. Like these these designers, mm -mm, can't get no my money. My money too tight, baby. It's tight to pantyhose right now. But I think that there's I think that's all I bought but while you're here let me tell you something so when I went to Memphis and I drove I was already in College Station so it didn't make sense for me to drive from Houston uh back to Houston like 80 miles and then go to Memphis I was like it's gonna take me out the way so I said uh and, and this is story time right here so I said okay well I'm gonna cut across so I get on 59 so when I get on 50, uh, in order for me to get on 59, I had to go like 200 and some miles. But it was a state route that I was gonna have to be on. And mind you, I was gonna be driving at night with my three-year-old. So my friend, he's a truck driver, he was like, look, you don't need to, I don't need you on the state route that late at night. He said, gonna stay right, you know, they like two lanes. He said, it's gonna be dark. So I'm like, oh yeah, okay, cool. Anyway, so now I'm on the state route. So I leave out College Station around like eight o'clock at night. And, uh, but the two, I think it was like 200 and maybe like 60 miles before I got to 59. So, but it was broken up in increments, like, you know, a 20 mile stretch, 30 mile stretch. I think it belongs like a 70 mile stretch. So I'm driving, I'm good. I drove with my high beams on like 75% of this trip. So, as I'm driving, you know, it's good. You know, I'm bumping in Marvin Gaye here, my dear. You know, it was bring me on in. So, I got to a point, I was maybe like 70 miles. No, 40. I think I was in Crockett, Texas. I think that's where I was. But I ended up in like, I guess I was in like a state park. It was a state park there. Because I saw, as I was driving down the street, I saw this, you know, like the little brown signs. I said, I'm in a park. So I'm driving through. But it was nice to see like the little, like I saw some towns on a Friday night. I'm um, for real. Like it was like, I was like in Mayberry, like Andy Griffith show. Like for real. I'm like, dog, they still look like this. It was crazy. But I mean, people were out and it was cool. So I'm like, all right, so I'm rolling. So it was this part in the road that uh, I I don't know whether the, I don't think it was a fork in the road. You know, how sometimes you go down the road and then it'll say uh, either stay to the left or it say like it was like turn left and then as soon as you turn left it'll say turn right like real quick. Somehow I missed the turn. So as I missed the turn. Uh, you know, it's two-lane road. So, uh, my GPS started going out. I said, okay, well, I just keep on driving down this road. So, I keep on driving. Then, you know, I run into a street to tell me, you know, make a left. And I end up, you know, right back where I need to be. But I was like, I don't want to get too far out the way. Then, it takes me so far out the way. So, I'm driving. And I think it said Marshall, like, 40 miles. I said, dang, it might take me out the way, but I'm cool. At least I'll be back on 59 Major, you know, saying Highway. So, uh, my GPS went out. So, I'm probably like a quarter mile past my turn. 
So I'm like, down on see, you know, when the street ain't came up, you know, for me to make up. I was like, I ain't turn around on a two lane road. Like it was crazy. It was dark and it was like, you know, kind of like, you know, like ditches on the side. So anyway, my GPS went out and then it, then I was driving and it said rerouting. So as soon as it was about to like, you know, pull up again, it went out again. So I drove some more and it said rerouting. So then it was like turn left in like 25 feet or something like that. So I'm like, dog, I'm right at it. So I stopped and it was saying, you know, it went all the way down like zero feet. So, I mean, it's, it's pitch black dog, like crazy. High beams on, two lane road, middle of, uh, I don't know where I was at. So I went to make a left. So when I started turning the car, I can see nothing but the side of the, of the road. I'm like, ain't no road here. So uh, I bag up and I'm like, I ain't turning around. So I had to, it was so freaking dark. I could see better rolling my window down. Plus my car had 10 on, so I rolled my window down and I looked back. And when I looked back, I could see uh, like part of like a green light and it looked like it was like a road. So I bagged up a little bit. I'm like, it got, if a car come, like you gotta have your high beams on. I have to see you, but this was, this was crazy. So I bagged up a little bit. And I turned on this road. Y'all, this was so crazy. This was like some straight up movie, wrong turn type stuff. So I turned on this freaking street. It As I was driving on it, I was like, this is like one a one car road. I'm like, I hope on in it. It's midnight. It's midnight. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Baby in the back seat, sleep. I ain't got no pistol. I ain't got nothing. So, um, you know, it's like just shrubbery all on the side. Like stuff you see in the scary movie where stuff about to go wrong. At this point, I can't bag up because, you know, you know, then you got to worry about deer and all this stuff. So I'm on this road. So the road wasn't like fully like paved. It wasn't like a gravel road. Was, I think I saw some county roads like this. Like this was crazy. So I'm driving, so I'm like, you know what? I don't know if I need to just ball through this road or creep it. I'm like, if I creep it, then you know somebody to go get me. So uh, so I was like, no, nah, because I don't want to ball through here. And they have a pothole, we have anything. Then I end up like busting my tires and I'm screwed. So I had to be on this mile for like, I mean, be on this road for like four tenths of a mile. So as I'm going through here, like this is crazy, straight spooky. Uh, you know, dust flying all up. So it's kind of like how when you go through like some cemeteries in the country, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know what, what this road's made of. Or it looked like somebody was like, hey, I got a whole bunch of land, you know, go and make me a road out there. It, whatever you can put out there. That, that's what I was on. So then, so I'm driving. So then I was like, okay, four tenths of a mile, like, cool. I'll be back on the main road. Then all of a sudden, this road ends. And then uh, it's like a just the road ends and it's you know arrow sign you know go left go right, so uh, you know at the end I mean it's straight like dead end it's crazy end of the road, so it said make a left and then it say so when I make a left it say oh you're gonna be on this road for two miles I'm like what well, another one of these freaking roads, so and then the, it went kind of like downwards I'm like. Oh, oh my gosh. So I started seeing, um, you know, mailboxes, but the house, it wasn't a lot of houses, but they were far in the back. I said, I just feel like I'm on driving on somebody's property. Like I'm just going to be, I'm in somebody's backyard, GPS and screw me and somebody going to be out here with, you know, it, I don't know. It just felt like out in the movies. How they say it's going to be some dummy, the GPS going to lead them on our property and we, we got us one. That, that's why I feel like, oh yeah, we I see some headlights here, yeah, we, we got us one tonight. So, man, when I came down this road, I'm like, Lord, please, man, my anxiety was like up. So, I went down this road, made it, uh, it was like, he said two miles. So, uh, I was just watching GPS count at 1.9, 1.8, 1.7. So when I finally made, I was so happy to be back on a freaking state route uh, than I was that thing. Cause that GPS need they tell will put somebody 
on that freaking road. Like that road ain't good for nobody. And even in the daylight, that that road is there. They need they tail whoop. They they really need they tail whoop for them. So um, so I got back on the safe route, and I think I was maybe like twenty miles to I think Marshall uh, Marshall Texas, and I I brought it on in. So then as I'm driving, like I had been, you know, uh, using my Bluetooth. So I had my daughter's charger. So now I'm realizing then my phone said it was going low. Uh, it was like at 20%. So I crossed over to Texarkana and my friend called me and she was drunk. And she was like, uh, you know, when you come in, you know, just come outside. I should be making the Memphis around like four in the morning. So she was like, just come to my house. I'm going to leave my... Uh, Leave my key outside in the plant. You just go ahead and just come on in. And I didn't tell my dad I was on my way because I didn't want him worried about me driving at night, which I see now. Why? I see why. So, um, so when I he takes our counter, I'm at like 9% on my phone. Uh, I said, okay, well, you know, it's an iPhone. iPhone can go for a minute. So, I think I was maybe in Hope, Arkansas, which I think Hope is about... 40, maybe 40, 40, 50 miles since Arkansas, I think. Um, my brother called. Now I'm on 4%. I was like, okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to get some gas in, uh, I'm going to get some gas in Little Rock. Well, I still had gas. So I was pushing it all the way through Little Rock. I think by the time I made Little Rock, my phone freaking died. So I stopped 100 miles outside of Memphis and got gas. Temperature dropped. Like it was 40 something degrees. So got dog on cold. And like that's freezing to me. And I'm like, man, it's cold. So I didn't want to really bake the baby up. I said, okay, well, boom, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna get this gas. I'm gonna go ahead and get a charge. Well, as soon as I get the gas and I pull up in front of the store and about to wake my baby up, the phone little charger thing lit up like now it's gonna start working, it's gonna start charging. So I said, okay, since waking her up, so go ahead and push it on. Before, man, my phone stayed on 1%. I don't know what was going on with that thing. It stayed on like 1% all the way to maybe like 30 miles outside of West Memphis. Then it died. So I'm like, shoot, I'm on this road phone dead. I'm like, okay, whatever. But I think I had my work phone, so I was still good. So anyway, make it into Memphis. Go to my friend's house. It's 4 in the morning. Wake the baby up. Okay. So, it's 4 in the morning, so I make it to her house. So, I have to wake my baby up. And, I, you know, get my baby wrapped up in a blank because it's cold. So, I'm trying to, like, hold the baby wrapped up. Then, my friend got this uh, pot, heavy pot outside. So, I'm trying to, like, look for her key, hold the baby. And, uh, I'm like, okay, the key ain't here. So, I'm knocking on her door. So, then, I'm using her door knocker trying to get in. Then I'm, I'm like, you know what? I ain't feeling bad knocking because, you know what I'm saying? I ain't finna worry about the jack because the jack was going to be like, you know what? It's, it's a woman out here at four in the morning. I, she can't get in. I got her. So, you know, I'm just like real paranoid. So, I'm like, okay, I'm about to leave. So, I left. Phone not working. Soon as I hit Germantown Parkway, because uh, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go to my aunt's house. I'm like, you know, I'm going to go to my aunt's house and I'm just going to go in. So, uh, the phone freaking, so out of nowhere, I, all this time, the phone starts charging when I get on Germantown Parkway. I was like, let it at least charge until I get to my own house. So, I get to my own house. Uh, I'm calling her phone. She don't answer. Okay, I know it's four in the morning, but you know what I'm saying? So, I called the house phone. And my grandmama, you know, my grandmama said, well, my aunt. So, I didn't want the house phone to keep ringing too and throw my grandmama off because she got like dementia. Stuff. So, I'm like, okay. So I'm like knocking. I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm not, I was like calling, doing everything. Couldn't get in. Baby wrapped up. Baby's like, I want to go. And I get my baby said, look late. I'm about tired of this. Like, um, we need to get up at somebody's house. So we sit out there and I'm like, this is insane. Like, this this is crazy. So I had to still call my daddy because, you know, I didn't want him to know I was night driving. So I call. My stepmom immediately wakes up. I was like, look, I'll be there in like 15 minutes. So I had to go way back away from my country. Because my friend's house, I headed south 20 minutes to go to my aunt's house. Then I had to turn right back around and 
come way past there where I originally started and go to my dad's house. So I got to my dad's house and it was an experiment. But GPS need they tell what for this street. I you know, I even went back on my uh phone to see like where that turn was. Like they need to have that street for scary movies because like that 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 was crazy. That 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 was crazy. So yeah, you I ain't doing that no more. I'm staying on these main highways. Uh, like people say, especially if I ain't strapped. But you're going to need, baby, a bow, arrow, pistol, a shotgun, a shooter. You're going to need a whole bunch of stuff hanging out in them neck of the woods. So, anyway, that was just my story. I had to let people know about that. But, yeah, be, uh, be safe out there in them streets. And uh, have a great night.